update to your neighborhood arcade and pinball talk out. We're going to be on location at Black City Circle Brewery in Indianapolis. Uh, we're going to be reviewing Tales from the Crypt by Data East today. Great looking game. Please look for our review underneath the description of our YouTube video. Uh, as well as like and follow us on our social media formats, Arcade and Pinball Talk on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, as well as subscribe on YouTube. If you like arcade, if you like pinball, click subscribe, join our family today. Let's go ahead and get this review underway, shall we? First impressions of the machine right off the bat. Flipper gap is pretty wide, actually. Artwork is what you would expect from Tales from the Crypt. One of my favorite childhood TV shows on USA, Up All Night by Gilbert Goffrey. Playfield uh, artwork looks, looks really, really good, actually. It's what you would expect from an older uh, show like Tales from the Crypt. Some things to note on here, flipper bump at the back of the flipper will actually cause the ball instead of being smoothly relayed to your flipper to pop off. Let's talk about table mechanics real quick. Flipper gap is not too bad. In lane to the left and right, out lane to the left and the right. Target's going up the, the left, which is key. Captive ball. You got a spinner with a lane that's an orbit that goes all the way around to a third flipper to the top right. A ramp which says jackpot, rats, ghosts, goblins. That ramp goes all the way around and uh, could actually pop out uh, to your right end lane. You have a crypt area where you hit the tombstone. Pop, call, uh, pop bumpers to the back, targets to the middle. You have another ramp to the right side which actually sends the ball upward and around to a habit trail wire form exiting into your left end lane. Third flipper mid, mid play field. And that's about it. And one thing to note on this is actually the plunger is a, it's almost like opening an old door. So that's pretty cool. So you also have a lane that's to the back, uh, to the, the ramp to the right. There's actually a lane there and that actually has a kick out, which sends it to the wire form. Ball speed's pretty decently quick on this. Not too shabby. Uh, I will say translite back glass art looks good. It's what you would expect as well as the side art. Looks great. So you go around that, that area there to the pop bumpers. Let's get up to those uh, mushroom bumpers up there. There's the ramp that exits to the right end lane through Habit Trail. And again, I am on location and route, so what that means is, what that means is that some things will work, some things will not. There is a scoop to the middle too, I just tried to hit it right there. It says creature feature. I love it whenever the Crypt Keeper is laughing. I, I swear to God, that is the trademark of this that old show. But also they have those, those sound bites on this actual game too, which makes it pretty cool. Black Circle Brewing has a great alignment of pinball machines here. They have about seven that I see currently. So themes there, the artwork is there for what it is. Replayability on this machine, I would say, is absolutely there too. Fun factor, I love Tales from the Crypt, so it's, it's working for me. Uh, moderate, moderate difficulty. Um, table speed is actually pretty quick on this machine, so definitely check it out. If you get the opportunity to check this out in a route somewhere, find a Tales from the Crypt, Data East. Uh, again, look for a review underneath the description of our video, as well as find this game at BCB in Indianapolis. Thank you again for watching today.